Okay, so um, this week's workshop update. Obviously the SD1 is going to feature quite heavily in these updates at the moment because um, we're on the, on the road to completing it. The rear end is now uh, looking rather good with all uh, the bumper installed, the lights, uh, this trim panel along here, uh, all new bulbs installed. Uh, the sunroof is fitted and aligned properly, working nicely. Um, the next step in there will be to install the new headlining we have and uh, that will finish that off nicely. Um, the customer sent new interior. Steve, were new interior light uh, covers in yes, that box? Yes, covers. Yeah, so they'll be going on as well. Um, Steve and Holly were testing the lights again after fitting a brand new indicator stalk. Um, I think Steve's got it here. Unfortunately, we've had an issue with it. Um, so it's a brand new Brand new indicator stalk, quite lucky to find it. However, almost very unlucky because on testing, uh, the main battery feed to the stalk, and get the camera to focus, um, actually got, there must, there's a short on this unit and it got rather hot. Um, thankfully, caught very quickly. Um, uh, battery disconnected and uh, Obviously, we've had to remove the dashboard because the wire uh, that actually go, comes from the main junction in the wing, um, we can't just leave that in there now. It's you know it needs checking over, so we're going to run a brand new one through and then revert back to the old original stalk that was functioning no problem. Um, so uh, yeah, that set us back a little a little while. Um, obviously, having to remove the dashboard, but uh, needs doing properly. So moving around the front. Um, headlights are installed, front bumper, uh, we've got the pipe down there ready for the washer jets that are on the bumper for the headlight. Uh, there's all new pipe work behind the bumper as well for those washer jets. Um, the chrome trims are on the uh, bonnet. Um, did you fit that new indicator lens, Steve? Yeah, new lens fit. Okay, yeah, so uh, the customer sent a new lens through here. There was a small kind of uh, crack that wasn't all the way through in the original one, so Nice to have a brand new one on there. So yeah, this is looking really good. We'll get some photos of this uh, later on today as well and do a little photo update on the Facebook page. Um, I reckon it's uh, time to show you something else that's turned up with us though. Just uh, popped up yesterday. I've been emailing this customer, I think it's uh, started in around February on and off. Uh, he travels a little bit for work. And um, yeah, popped up yesterday. It was a lovely sunny day. I uh, think he said he drove up from Bedford and uh, yeah, we're looking at doing a little bit of work to this. So it's a TR7 converted to 8. Uh, he's actually owned a car for about 20 years and had the conversion done his, uh, when he, um, in, in, during his ownership. <coughs> I think it was done yeah, about 20 years ago and it was done by a guy who was kind of doing this as a bit of a production line. Obviously using SD1 engines and gearboxes. Um, so yeah, 3.5, uh, it's come in for, um, well, looking under here, you can probably tell what I'm going to say straight away, uh, ignition upgrade and carburetor. So uh, obviously, first thing we'll do is we'll pop the intake manifold off and inspect the camshaft. The engine was supposedly rebuilt uh, when it was done 20 years ago. It's only covered about 15,000 miles. Uh, obviously the customer's owned it the entire time, so knows the history. Um, and uh, when we looked down the oil filler cap, it did show that it was kind of a nice bronzy color. I don't know if I can get the flash in there, no. Um, so uh, yeah, it, it does show the signs of an engine that's done low mileage and been well looked after but the camshaft will tell all the, the of the story really when we get the inlet off. So keep an eye on our Facebook page for this project as well. We'll uh, be featuring that. Okay, um, last little bit of this uh, workshop update today is the Series 388 inch that we've um, been doing a little bit, bit of paintwork on here. Um, it's a two and a quarter petrol. Um, got these 33 inch uh, tyres on, so the arches have been modified uh, to allow them to obviously fit and turn. Um, so for that reason we, we weren't looking for originality or anything like that, um, but it's come out really really nice, we're really pleased with this. Uh, this will be for sale quite soon. You can see the reflection of Florin there in the window, he's taking some photos because he's really proud of how it's turned out. He's been doing a lot of work on this. 
Um, so I think he's now installing the, the lights on the back end there. Um, we've got windows to go in, but for now I can put you inside like this. Uh, so yeah, really nice little series Land Rover. We've had this in our ownership for a couple of years now, I think. Um, but um, it's time to find it a new owner. So uh, a little bit of work from us just to make it a bit nicer and sort of uh, something you can jump into and just get in and drive and enjoy. And this will be for sale through our Facebook page and probably eBay uh, quite soon. So watch this space on this one, guys. Right, well, um, have a good weekend. Uh, if you're doing any V8-related projects, let us know. Post them on our Facebook page. We always like to see what you guys are up to as well. Okay, have a good one.